How to not feel like a slut. Girl, please take my advice as a 27-year-old who didn't go as crazy, but realizing that I'm not the type of person to have meaningless sex now regret the people I allowed to experience me in the past. 1. You've now realized that meaningless sex makes you feel more alone and empty. Please take action on that and listen and start to get to know what you like and don't like. 2. You acknowledge that you actually want a real relationship but you believe that there is no guys that want that. Trust them either is but you need to have boundaries, standard for yourself so those guys get weeded out and please don't get discouraged if they ghost or lose interest they're literally doing you a favor and seeing themselves out. 3. Forgive yourself now and more towards and better path because when you look back maybe in your 27s, you're going to wish you listened to some great advice if you decide to neglect the wisdom that is being given to you. 4. Consider therapy. And in no means saying something's wrong with you but in the way so they can help redirect your thoughts. Better understand yourself and the reason you are choosing the things you're doing. I highly recommend reading into attachment theory. If you're interested in having a healthy, lasting relationship, I cannot recommend this enough. I really hope you take this advice. Damn post nut clarity strikes again. I did spend a bunch of time as a guy, sleeping around then feeling hollow. I was craving emotional intimacy but had that mixed up with physical intimacy as in my life one had always come with the other. So I kind of went cold turkey on the hookups and when I went back to dating I made sure to take things slow with my partners. Still didn't super work. Eventually one of my close female friends asked me out and that worked out well. Oof. I'm sorry. There's a lot here to unpack one. Try and release the shame of your past mistakes and focus on the future. The regret after is telling you that it's not what you really want. 2. Forget about the labels of SLT or whatever and ask yourself the hard questions of why you keep doing it if you regret it. If it's because booze then cut back on booze. If it's low self-esteem then I would work on that with a therapist maybe both. 3. You seem to recognize that you're using this as a poor substitute for a real relationship. Don't settle. Wait until you find what you are looking for. That will feel much better in the long run. 4. I don't know you. But I'll bet there is someone out there who loves you and they would telephone you. You are better than how you see yourself right now. You deserve better than a one-night stand or to feel like a SLT, or to feel alone and destructive. I had meaningless sex a bit after a really rough breakup. I'm glad I don't do that anymore. I only hurt others and myself. Build up your self-esteem so you stop relying on external validation. Simply put, you have two choices and the choice is yours. 1. You enjoy a moment, then regret. 2. You don't enjoy a moment, but have no regret. Clearly, you are having a hard time living with the first option. So why not try the second one for a few months? If you aim to have a real relationship, it takes time and effort to meet and date and it can also lead to a lot of disappointment. If that's what you are aiming for, you need to be very clear about what you are looking for when you first meet a guy and before sleeping with him. I'm 32F. When I look back, my most intense experiences with men were the emotional ones, not the sexual. Purely sexual experiences brought nothing to my life except pregnancy scares and STD anxiety. Talk to some counselors at the school or a therapist if that is available for you. You should be able to feel good about sleeping around or not sleeping around inside your own body. However, you need to be safe. If you're regretting getting drunk and sleeping around, don't get drunk around men. You also need to make him wear protection 100% of the time. And maybe birth control for yourself? STDs are a bitch and the worst STD is children.
If you are going to sleep around protect yourself. If you feel bad about sleeping around. If you feel bad getting drunk and sleeping around. How do you think you'll respond if you get pregnant and either a. Make your life so much more difficult raising a kid or b. If you decide to have an abortion. I asked my ex. She ended up coping with guys after our breakup. Even did a dude and his cousin. She told me to say you have to learn to forgive yourself. You have no obligation to be the person you were five minutes ago. Focus on your majors. It sounds like you are enjoying the attention from the guy that leads up to sex. After it's over you feel regret and empty because what you really want is a guy's long term. Attention in the form of a relationship. Please stop drinking. First of all, it lowers your ability to think through your choices and lets you put yourself in bad situations. Second, stop having sex with people who aren't your boyfriend. You aren't a bad person if you enjoy casual sex. But you do put yourself in danger of STDs. Unwanted pregnancy. And from the sounds of it, you wouldn't even know who the dad would be? And possibly assault if you hook up with the wrong guy. Start fresh tomorrow and don't let yourself be treated any less than you deserve or want. If you want a boyfriend, go find the guys that want a girlfriend. If none of the guys around you are ready for that, try a new meeting place coffee shop, bookstore, whatever. Enjoy flirting if it gives you an ego boost but leave it at that unless you are okay with being a one night stand. Your internal voice is telling you to stop. Listen to yourself. Remember it takes two to tango. The guys you were with were also engaging in the same sexual behavior as you. Do they feel guilty? Probably not. Look at this as a learning experience that helped you realize what you now want. Look at the sexual life experiences you had. Sex is not bad. You didn't hurt anyone. There was free love in the 60s. You're not a slut. First, there's nothing morally wrong with having sex. Like, if you enjoy yourself and it's all consensual, sex is not a bad thing. I think it's kind of fun. But if it's not fun for you, think about what is fun and pursue that. Regarding feeling like a slut, um, I genuinely think talking that over with someone is a good idea. Please don't go to Reddit at large for serious deeply personal questions like this. My 21F college student. DMs are open if you want to reach out. I'm serious. Maybe stop having meaningless sex all the time? Having some fun getting a little wild is okay. You will never have this time back. However, if you want a relationship, start looking where you can find a good guy. It could be at a party. Could be in a class. If you're getting drunk at a party with everyone else, it might be a good idea to slow your roll. Have some drinks. Maybe a little buzz and shut it down. There's nothing wrong with that. I've also looked after my girlfriends so they don't hook up with a guy when they're stone-ass drunk. Hang with some friends who you look out for each other. I have been in the same boat. Slept with quite a few ladies partying and at the bars. You'll get there. Reevaluate. Set your compass due north to the promised land. Oh the college days and keg parties. Info. Do you feel guilty for yourself or because it's wrong in the eyes of others? American society I assume. Because sounds to me you are just afraid of being judged, a SLT. And really you should not worry about anyone else than you. Take it from someone that had a lot of fun before meeting someone I wanted to keep around. There is nothing wrong with meaningless sex. Just enjoy the partying and the one-nighters with no guilt at all. Is a life learning experience. Also be careful though. Use protections. I'm a guy but I've been through this sort of thing. I was fooling around with people left and right. I felt empty, gross, and confused. I think the biggest thing is to be courageous and spend a lot of time examining your feelings. 
without any sort of bias, guilt, or judgment. See what exactly is making you feel so conflicted, and then figure out what to do from there. You have the answers. You just need to accept them. Take it from me. You deserve to be happy, to be loved, and to respect yourself. Sleeping with people and having that hit of acceptance from someone else feels great at the time, dot, but just like a drug. It eats you up and in the end it feels miserable. You deserve to have someone who loves you, whom you find sexy, and who respects you. Hang in there. This will get better. If you're at uni, there are likely free counseling services available. The guilt and having to get drunk first could be from societal pressures of this being seen as slutty behavior. Or it could be from partaking in this behavior to fill some sort of personal void or insecurity. Or something else entirely. It's something you have been continuing to do despite not feeling great about it afterward. So talking to a mental health professional would likely be the most effective way to sort out what's going on within yourself. P.S. Ignore the slut-shaming commenters. They lack empathy and aren't worth your time. If that's difficult to do, PLS feel free to shoot me a DM to chat. Or I can send you some happy pics or memes etc to help drown the hate. This sounds like depression with unhealthy coping mechanisms maybe look into treating that. Sorry about the unsavory comments. Feel gross just reading them. There's nothing wrong with having sex. It all depends on how you feel about it. It's good that you're questioning your emotions. Don't stress too much though. This is super normal behavior and emotions. Especially for your age. I know I did the same thing. Sorry you don't have anyone to talk about it. I would be wary of being taken advantage of. But beyond that, please don't stress. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.